If you've been paying attention to inflation, you'll notice that each month roughly in 2023, it's been going down. Hopefully, part of that has to do with inflation getting better, but here we are showing up for the July report, which is reporting June inflation numbers. I think a lot of that July report has more to do with math than even just inflation and the economy. When you're talking about inflation, when you read or see inflation in the headlines, they're talking about 12 month inflation, the new number divided by the old number. That's 12 months of data. That July report is actually showing your June information. When they say inflation is, they're really saying inflation was. It was last month and the prior 12 months earlier than that. Well, last year, 2022, inflation went wild in the spring. March, April, May, June, those four months had a 14% annualized inflation rate. That was crazy high. If you know anything about math and dividing, the bigger the number that's dividing it, the smaller overall. So let's talk about why I believe the July report is going to show a much lower number. Uh, it is going to drop just because of the math. Here's the two things you need to keep in mind. It's the numerator and the denominator. And what's happening is those last four months of the spring 2022, March, April, May, and June, that denominator, that inflation rate was growing. You're gonna have a really high number and your June 22 number was basically the high point. It grew 14% uh, annualized rates over those four months. You'll have a really high number divided into the June 2023 number. Now we took a look at it to see what's going on here. What's going on is that with this number growing and last month's report, the June report, which again is the May information, that showed a four percentage point inflation. Well, let's take a look and say what's going on with the numbers here. And when you see that July report, the number for June was incredibly high. It's an incredibly high number, 296. Uh, I rounded it off there for you. But high 296, whatever that new number is, and I'll tell you that the, the last month number was 304, right? When you divide that out, and we said, well, last month of the May number released in June was a 4% inflation rate. What's it likely to look at in July to report the June inflation, this number would have to grow by 1.3%. Doesn't sound like much, but that's one month. You look at it over the course of a year, that number would have to be a 17% annual inflation rate for June just to get the exact same 4%. If this number just grows kind of along the way that it's been going, 305, 306, uh, even in there, you'll see a inflation number, 12 month inflation number, right about 3%. So expect to see a big drop in the inflation, nothing to do with the economy, everything to do with math. If you wanna learn more about how inflation and other things affect your retirement, make sure to subscribe.